I send greetings to all my young friends at the Brook Lane Friends School. I am aware of your excellence in many areas and most importantly in demonstrating the Quaker values and teachings of diversity, integration, social justice and peaceful resolution of conflict. <laughs> Welcome to The Life, an E! News media presentation. I'm Andy Cohen, your host. In this, the school's 150th year, our new name pays homage to the illustrious past of Brooklyn Friends and The Life, the student-run newspaper that had a 60-year run. Nelson Mandela said, Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. At BFS, we couldn't agree more. Today, we begin with students from the preschool Red Room and their teachers Sharon and Bianca. The group took an elevator ride to the ceramic studio for a hands-on lesson about clay with our ceramics teacher, Ellen. On today's show, Paul Romano will report on the college admissions process and the big choices our students and families need to make. Paul, what do you have for us? Applying to college is a very personal process. At BFS, our college counselors, Terry and Tiffany, work closely with students and families in order for them to make the best choices and manage the stress and anxiety they naturally feel. In the end, we get to see them rise above the challenges and emerge stronger and more confident. Thank you, Paul. But first, these community announcements. If you enjoy the life as much as we do, please share this program with your friends and family and help spread the word about Broken Friends School. This is the Blue Pride Report! So far this winter's athletic season, the Panthers have had a stellar overall record of 17 and 5. JV basketball team has a 6 and 0 record. No! And the boys varsity team has an 8 and 0 star. Yeah! Check the schedule and come on out. Catch the action and show your <laughs> From all of us here at BFS, have a happy and healthy new year. Don't forget to make your tap deductible year-end gift to the Brooklyn Friends Fund. Deciding where to go to college is challenging, and then you have to wonder if you'll get into your top choice, and even then, whether it will be right for you. The college application process is a rite of passage. I spoke to some of our 12th graders who are in the midst of it. What does your ideal school look like? Your ideal college, describe it for me. It'd have a college town near it, but not too big of a city, I'd like it in the country. But I'd like a good student life, lots of sports, a big, like, big sports. Small school, uh, I've been looking to stay on uh, the East Coast because I didn't want to go too far away from home. I wanted to be able to come and visit my family or have my sister come up and visit me. Um, Academically rigorous, but also values like time taken off so that's what where it's like it's still challenging but you get to have the fun particularly fun. like drawn to any location although i have friends who are in college in california right now and it seems very very nice i guess i appreciate a smaller school more an opportunity to learn more about the environment and animals when i'm in a space i feel comfortable in i just want to try all these amazing things so i think when i go to college i want to be in a space where that's possible I'm here with Associate Director of College Counseling, Tiffany Huggins. Tiffany, what is the goal of our college program here at BFS? The goal primarily is to empower students along their journey. 
but essentially you really want students to look inward and be reflective about their time here at Brooklyn Friends and their goals um, as they see fit as they move forward into adulthood. How has your experience at BFS prepared you for this process, applying to colleges? There's definitely a lot of support in terms of like the college process, especially in terms of like the academics. We're able to do the work and we're able to show colleges we're prepared to go there. I'm just worried about applying. BFS prepares its students academically and socially make uh, this process easier. And of course, having college counselors from the school there to help you out is definitely um, an, an asset. We're always taught to do something about something that we care about. I feel like BFS has built me into a person who knows what she wants to do and what she likes to do, and that really helps with finding like what schools I want to apply to. Being at BFS and having been taught how to balance and juggle a lot of things at the same time, I was able to maybe not perfectly, but like deal with the college process and all of its elements and still be able to do well in my classes. And other Tiffany has done a great job telling us about what kind of things colleges expect from us. What do you have at BFS that you want to have at your college? I think the uh, tight community and how everyone looks out for each other, everyone knows about each other, and everyone will like stick up about stick up for each other. Well, at BFS, I've been doing or I've been a part of the volleyball team. Definitely want to continue doing that. I don't think maybe I'll do Division One or Division even three sports, but like if there's a club volleyball team, I'll definitely want to do that. And I've been definitely a part of BFS dance community for a really long time. And so I know that whatever college I attend, I want to be a part of their dance program or dance shows or whatever they have that involves dance because I don't want to let go of that. I guess they'll want to talk and understand their students more. That's something I've appreciated about the school, how they try. We have a really, really good relationship with our teachers, and I'd like that to continue as far as going into college and having that kind of relationship with teachers and classroom experience. I think that's important. I hope that I can find the same sense of community. And while I know that that bond isn't going to go away, I hope that I can find a new bond with new people for really the first time in my life. Cool. And finally, what is the most difficult part of the process of applying to college? The actual application itself and everything you put in is so personal and so deeply about you as an individual and who you are and how you identify. But you have to be able to separate that from what actually happens after you've hit the submit button. No, I think that writing the essays have been particularly hard, and also choosing, actually, no, all of it. For me personally, it's finding something I want, because there's so many different things that I want. Pinpointing it to a single thing or to a single school is difficult. So I think it was really difficult for me to sit down and just look over all that I've done and, like, self-analyze and wonder, well, what small thing or large thing really impacted me as a person and impacted my growth or whatever I wanted to talk about in my personal statement. And so I think that part definitely took the most effort and took the most time. Just learning the process of how to do it was pretty tough for me. But then of course there's also the supplements and the tediousness because I've got lots of schools which aren't on the common apps. So I've got to do the same thing over and over again. I don't know, like everything's kind of difficult because and even like waiting for results even after you submit application is like hard because it's like the anticipation of um of waiting for the results and like how you would react to whatever result you get back that's pretty hard like it's a struggle throughout <laughs> in a way yeah yeah it is hard good luck thank you well that brings us to the end of another episode of the life And it's also our last episode in the year of 2017. So for me and everyone here at Brooklyn Friends School, we wish you a happy, healthy, and meaningful new year. And remember to let your life speak.